Eco Design. Look at these products. They have a troubling resemblance to human beings. Like all human beings, they are conceived and born. They grow, they change, they move around, and one day, they disappear. And like all human beings, they leave traces of their presence. They consume energy, water, and raw and processed materials. From one moment to the next, they generate noise, vibration, volatile substances, and even electromagnetic waves. Some of these attributes can quickly prove harmful to our environment, like the greenhouse gas effect, or water, and ground pollution. So the task we face is to assess the environmental impact of the products we design, so that we can predict that impact and keep it to a minimum. That hasn't always been the case. In the past, the hazardous materials and enormous amounts of energy consumed by a product were discovered after production, then fixed with a stopgap solution that limited the impact in one area only to increase it somewhere else. Not very effective, was it? That's how Eco Design was born. Here's how it works. From the very start of the design process, engineers analyze the product life cycle in order to measure its adverse effects on the environment. Every aspect of the product is measured, from cradle to grave, from the extraction of raw materials up until the end of its life, including the way it is built and transported, then used, recycled, and destroyed. Only then can the product be eco-designed, limiting its future environmental impact at each stage of its working life. Today, engineers worldwide are working day and night to develop products that are more energy efficient and less hazardous, environment-friendly in short. They are turning all of us into true eco-consumers and improving our daily lives. Companies and their engineers are now seeking to incorporate the task of measuring and limiting a product's environmental impact into their research and development strategy. With Alstom, eco-design is a day-to-day -day challenge and one of the linchpins of the company's innovation policy. Alstom has been a forerunner in eco-design in each of its four main business sectors. In the world of transport, Alstom has successfully reduced not only the amount of energy consumed by its trains and tramways, but also the impact of the materials used to manufacture them, and even the level of noise they generate. Ah, that sounds better. For example, take the new Regiolis, part of the Coradia range of regional trains. As with its other products, Alstom took environmental concerns into account from the initial study phase. Let's take a closer look at a train whose energy consumption has been reduced by 15%. Train sets that have been designed entirely with recyclable materials. Smart meters that measure and optimize energy consumption. Improved standby modes. Adjustable ventilation for each passenger. But Alstom doesn't stop there. In the field of energy production, Alstom designs and manufactures the steam turbines used in many power plants. To operate, these turbines rely on blades that are powered and set in motion by steam. Take, for example, the Arabel turbine used at nuclear power plants. Alstom engineers designed a new generation of larger blades that are activated more efficiently, increasing the turbine's output. As a result, the plant now produces 3% more electricity, even though the volume of fuel hasn't changed. What's more, the engineers were able to replace cadmium, a toxic, harmful material used in certain blade components, with aluminium. Our third example comes from the world of renewable energy. For Alstom, the array of technology that comprises renewable energy, including hydroelectricity, wind power, solar power, geothermal energy, and ocean energy, is an essential tool for innovation and eco-design. These innovative, carbon-free energy sources play a fundamental role in the group's sustainability policy. For more than two decades, Kaplan Turbine's hydropower plants have been continually improved with the environment in mind. Their fish-friendly turbines protect aquatic life, and the water-based lubrication systems used on all moving parts ensure that mineral oils and grease aren't accidentally discharged into rivers. One last example, the group has incorporated eco-design into the very core of several major electricity transmission networks. Alstom engineers have adopted 18 indicators to measure and reduce the environmental impact of network infrastructure. Electrical substations, the nerve center of municipal power distribution and supply networks, have been made substantially more energy efficient, and their environmental impact has been considerably reduced. 
The engineers manage that feat by equipping the substations with a new model of switchgear, the F-35, designed with the use of recyclable thermoplastic material, a patented Alstom innovation. The overall design reduces the use of aluminium and greenhouse gases by 30%. Overall, the switchgear is 90% recyclable and significantly cuts down on electrical losses within the network. All these examples show how Alstom is making eco-design standard practice.